I know, I know guys, you like your salmon, but is the salmon from the ocean silently poisoning you? Today I want to expose a crazy scandal about salmon. Stick here until the very end of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I have confirmed data which you cannot miss out on if you like to eat salmon, even the one from the ocean. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna go into the office. Okay, now back in the office. Guys, I could not believe it myself. My favorite fish, salmon might be actually poisoning? Well, let's talk about it. Wild salmon is a genuine superfood, rich in heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids and astaxanthin, a powerful antioxidant. These nutrients support your heart, your brain, your immune system, all of that. It's beautiful, right? But what if you are tricked, ladies and gentlemen? What if the salmon you are having in your freezer is actually doing damage to you potentially? Let's talk about it. Well, wild salmon is actually very low in heavy metals, which is some reason why I prefer it over tuna, right? It's one of the FDA's best choice in low mercury seafoods, high in all different vitamins, even vitamin D. Beautiful. But there is a dark side to that story, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about it. Farm-raised salmon, and it's very difficult to distinguish because they don't say this is farm-raised salmon. It actually might be one of the most toxic fishes you can eat. Hear me out, ladies Ladies and gentlemen, all the sources in the video description down below. Fact check it yourself. But farmed salmon very often contains toxic contaminants. One study found PCB levels, it's a carcinogenic pollutant, were 16 times higher in farmed salmon than actually in wild salmon. These toxins actually build up in the fish's fat and then in your body. Some experts are actually warning that even eating one farmed salmon meal per month could exceed safe contaminant limits then also and this made me angry drugs and diseases this is a big topic tens of thousands of salmon packed into a sea cage become breeding grounds for disease and parasites to counter this farms dose the fish with antibiotics and pesticides and traces of those end up in your fillet in your fish and you are eating that researchers actually have even found antibiotic resistant bacteria are emerging from salmon farm, the most dangerous one. You don't want any antibiotic resistant bacteria because then it just stays in you. Then also there is fake diet and fake color. Yes, farmed salmon is usually not this color. Farmed salmon is white. Farmed salmon eat an unnatural pellet diet, often contaminating fish oil, soy, ground up chicken feathers, even poultry litter. And without their wild as the xanthan rich food, the fish's flesh would turn gray. So farmers add synthetic pigment to make it pink. By the way, if this is blowing your mind, share this video with your friends. We need to get this out there. I don't think enough people know about that because I can go to the restaurant. I see everyone ordering this like fish fillets, the salmon fish fillets, and no one seems to really understand that indirectly you're eating chicken poop. Nutrient deficiencies are also in these fishes. All of that junk feed makes farmed salmon way less wholesome. A farm fillet has about double the fat of a wild one, which is a good thing per se if you think about it, because more omega-3 is fat is usually good, but the fat stores the toxin, right? You want more fat in a healthy wild caught fish. You want more fat in a pasture-raised, grass-fed, grass-finished animal, right? But if you have double the fat of a wild fish in a farm fish and over twice of this saturated fat, which is toxic load, and that's maybe not what you want, right? Worse, actually, studies link the pollutant load fat in farmed salmon to higher rates of insulin resistance and obesity and type 2 diabetics. I have to honestly say that is not all randomized controlled trials, so I don't know how much I would give to that piece of information, but it was something which was coming along my way during the research, so I felt like I should share it with you. Well, how to get the real, the healthy salmon, which I'm holding here in my hand, the wild caught one? Well, to avoid the toxic imposter and still enjoy the healthy salmon, follow the following checklist. I don't want to just fear monger, I want to give you solutions. Go wild. It has to say wild caught salmon or Alaska salmon, not the farmed one. Choose the wild caught salmon. For example, sockeye salmon, coho salmon, king salmon, Alaska salmon, or just wild salmon. And avoid anything labeled Atlantic salmon, Norwegian, and all of these things. Check the label. Reputable sellers 
label salmon as wild and note its origin. For example, wild Alaska salmon. If the package or menu doesn't clearly say wild caught with a location, you can clearly and automatically assume its farm. Just like that. Use season and color. Wild salmon is sold only in season if it's not canned, right? I have a lot of canned salmon actually here, which is wild caught salmon. Of course, this is better, but the canned one, wild caught, is still better than a fresh farmed one, in my opinion, and according to the research, which I'm linking down below. Wild salmon is sold only in the season in summer and has deep red orange color from its natural diet. I want to promote seasonal eating anyways, right? Out of season or pale uniform salmon fillets are likely farm raised anyways, but you should check the label, then you can be for sure. By doing so, you will always get the omega-3 rich benefits of salmon for your brain, for your body, for your inflammation and so on without the chemical cocktail that comes with the farmed fish. Let me know what you think about that, dear ladies and gentlemen. And very important, if you like coffee, you need to watch this video right here and subscribe to the channel right here. And as always, guys, bye bye.